What's happening, Crypto Fam? Happy, happy Tuesday. Good morning and welcome back to Love for Crypto. I'm Scott. It's a pleasure to have you here. I appreciate you taking the time out to consume the content. So thank you. This morning, Binance. It's took another blow, man. So Binance has took another blow. And then there's another article I've noticed. <laughs> oh, Coinbase cracking. We all them did the right thing. <laughs> I swear to God, I can't make this shit up. Um, I don't know whether this is the beginning of the end for Binance. I'm not telling you all to stop using Binance. I'm not telling you to get any value or any of your funds off Binance. That's something you're going to have to decide for yourself. Um, I'm just giving you some information I found that's, and giving you the links it's presented in and then giving my opinion on it. Is this the beginning of the end for Binance? For people purchasing crypto with fiat money, cash, and then selling crypto for fiat money, cash, this could be the, the beginning of the end for that. This could be the beginning of the end of that. Not that you're never gonna, you're not gonna still be able to send, trade cryptocurrencies on there, depending on where Binance are registered and which app of Binance you're actually using, um, considering there's different ones now. But Binance's key payments partner severs ties with the embattled exchange. Global Payment Solution Provider Clear Junction has confirmed that it will no longer facilitate either pound or euro payments to Binance. It claims that the Financial Conduct Authority's recent notice regarding the exchange's London-based entity is the reason behind the decision. Clear Junction can confirm that it will no longer be facilitating payments related to Binance. The decision has been made following the Financial Conduct Authority's recent announcement that Binance is not permitted to undertake any regulatory activity in the UK. Clear Junction, which had been one of Binance's key payments partners in Europe, says it has decided to suspend both pound and euro payments and will no longer be facilitating deposits or withdrawals in favour of or on behalf of the crypto trading platform. Interesting. Last week, Binance halted Eurobank deposits from single Euro Payments Arena, the SEPA network, citing events that are beyond its control. The world's largest exchange was able to process deposits from both SEPA and the UK's faster payment service with the help of Clear Junction. Now that partnership is over, faster payments withdrawals have been suspended for maintenance. As reported by you today, both Santander and Barclays prohibited their customers from sending transfers to the embattled exchange. Embattled. <laughs> embattled exchange after the FCA warned that Binance Market Limited was not permitted to conduct any regulatory or regulated activities in Great Britain. And what I don't get is what we've said in the past where the, the, the FCE. Uh, the FCA, sorry, uh, were supervising them for 12 months or more to just turn around and go, fuck you, you're not, you're not regulated. Not only is it, a bit, is it a massive kick in the dick for Binance, it's a massive kick in the dick for anyone in Britain or Europe who, who, who was purchasing fear, uh, is purchasing crypto via fear on Binance. What's extremely interesting here, to me, to me, you might not find it as interesting, is that crypto exchanges have a plan to beat Binance. Play by the rules. I tell you what, right? If your rules are that I, if you, you want the rules to be that I can't purchase crypto, then... I don't want that fucking rule. And do we not live in a democracy? So can we not have a vote about some monetary policies and shit? Can we have a referendum on crypto monetary policies by any chance? And I'll accept a fucking vote. But I'm not accepting some banking dickhead turning around to me and telling me how I can and can't move my value and what I can and can't purchase with it. 
No fucking chance. No. That's, that's the main thing what this is about, is becoming your own bank, being able to say to them, well, no, not fucking moving out there, keeping it here, and I'm buying it on there, and I'm buying it on there, I'm not buying it off you. Fuck off. <clears throat> You're going to love this. Coinbase, Kraken, and Gemini are embracing regulation. Where are they based again? Where are they based again? again? In the mates. I mean the states. The states. In the mates. All the mates together in bed. Fucking playing with each other's balls. While the shit on the Asians. Fuck them. It's just my opinion. I ain't saying that's what they're doing. But it seems like that's what they're fucking doing. Every Asian exchange and every exchange everywhere else in the world just gets shit on. And all the evolved, but the American ones are doing it all right, aren't they? The American ones are embracing regulation, you know. Why don't you go to Coinbase? Fuck you. Telling you it. Fuck you. So in the wild world of cryptocurrency exchanges, one strategy never seemed to pay off. Embracing regulations, you know, like Binance tried to do when it was getting supervised off the FCA. Take Gemini, started by the twins, Cameron and Tyler or Winklevoss. While it was plastering posters in New York subways a few years ago, declaring there was finally a regulated, a regulated place to buy, sell, and store crypto, an exchange called Binance with no clear headquarters. And uh, oh, no clear headquarters and a mysterious structure quietly took the top. Excuse me. The top spot among the world's cryptocurrency exchanges suddenly touting adherence to the rule book looks very smart. Although Binance Holdings Limited turns away American customers, it is now said to be facing probes from US agencies. In late June, the financial watchdog in the UK told Binance affiliate that it wasn't authorised to carry out regulated activities in that country. The pressure on Binance raises the odds that several exchanges pledging to comply with tough US regulations may soon find themselves operating with less competition in some of the world's biggest economies. We're playing the long game, says Cameron Winkle Winklevoss. We're trying to be the fastest tortoise in the race. The long game pays off over time. Let me tell you something right now. I will never, ever, ever, ever use Coinbase, Kraken, or Gemini as my main exchanges. They can get fucked. They can get fucked. Do you know why? Because of this type of shit. Because of this type of shit. Why are they getting the okay and Binance gets shit on? I understand Binance got some dodgy dealings, got this, that and that. But what I mean is the, the FCA supervision, they should have been told. There should have been more information. They shouldn't have just been a boom cut off. They was fucking supervising them for 12 months. They should have come out and said to the FCA, we believe that it might be quite possible that Binance is doing this, that and that. And a boom, boom, boom. I mean, you're talking while BNB has been and now, I've not even looked at BNB and, and, and how much this is actually hitting it. Um, but yeah, fuck that. Warnings and lawsuits by US authorities in recent years already had, um, we know on the list of platforms catering to US customers. There's Coinbase, Kraken, Gemini, and Bittrex amongst a few others. There's also Binance.us, which says it's separate from the global Binance platform and has licensed the name and some technology from Binance. So again, why are you allowing Amazon to have 10 companies, eh? And, and fucking Apple and Google and Google Island and Google Europe and Google fucking America. Yeah, let them do it. Let fucking Binance do it. I don't care where they're registered. I don't care where they're registered. I don't care where their head office is. I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. Do you know, when people start up, the red office is at the fucking house. You're going to give them shit just because they're building something from the gaff. Or it's a fucking shed. Yeah? They're making hundreds of millions a month or fucking years. They should have decent offices, facilities and all that by now. And they may well have. I don't know where they are. I don't give a shit where they are. I don't put fiat money on Binance. I don't put cash on Binance. But I move crypto value through it. And I always will as long as it's there. 
my crypto stays on Binance about five minutes, an hour tops. If I'm busy and I like move it there and I do something else and then I move it off, or get a fucking half an hour when when the transaction takes to piss. So apparently, Coinbase Global Inc has published audited financials and beefed up its compliance operations and has, has it listed shares in New York this year. <sighs> Kraken got a regulated bank charter in Wyoming as it too prepares to go public and Gemini's parent, Gemini Trust Co, helped create the virtual commodity associate. Also, Gemini's okay to have subsidiaries and shit, but Binance in, fuck Binance. I, I wouldn't surprise if Gemini Trust Co is in the fucking Cayman Islands, you audible bastard. One rule for one, different rule for the rest of us, innit? Oh, so it's all about, it's supposed to root out bad behaviour and prevent fraud and manipulation, reminiscent of the self regulatory group set up by Wall Street. Yeah, because we can trust them, can't we? Hey? The idea is that if an exchange appeases US authorities, it can probably operate just about anywhere and more easily lure institutional investors. Ha, <laughs> ah, yeah. Fucking blow that fucking trumpet wide out, you Jesus fucking Christ. With each step platform takes, it goes further towards emulating the said financial world where internal controls, industry groups, and regulators hold sway. <laughs> Reform. Reform, please. Reform, please. Reset. Do you know, no, the, the first thing that should have happened in a global reset was everyone involved with it resign. Fuck off. It's you that fucking caused the bullshit. And now you're sitting there like, yeah, we're going to reset everything and fix it. Oh, I don't trust you, so fuck off. We'll get someone else in. We'll actually vote someone in. You know, democracy. We'll have the monetary policy actually governed instead of some private fucking companies just going, yeah, this is the way it's going to be, yeah? This is the way it's going to be. Are you going to fucking listen? Are you going to spend your money where we say you're going to spend your money? Are you going to fucking... you going to be... On that platform, because we say you can use that platform. Don't go on that fucking platform, mate. We'll find you on all that shit. You're not insured on that shit. You stick to the one we say. The catch-22 is that the crypto system was set up to avoid big banks, says John Griffin a professor of finance at the University of Texas in Austin. Austin's McComb School of Business, excuse me. But rather than having this autonomous universe free of government regulation, we have crypto exchanges playing the role that traditional exchanges and governments play in traditional markets. There's already a rich history of boom and bust in a relatively new world of crypto exchanges and plenty of reason for traders to be worried about who they can trust with their assets. Mt. Gox is the most famous example. The Japanese-based platform imploded in 2014 after losing the coins of thousands of customers. <laughs> oh, Binance Holdings vaulted unknown to a powerhouse a few years ago and has sat high on global rankings ever since. This year, as the Biden administration settled in, probes emerged. The US Department of Justice, the Internal Revenue Service and the Commodity Futures Trading Commission are all said to be examining aspects of the business. According to Bloomberg News, the specifics of the inquiries are unknown. But they've included officials who look into whether companies have allowed money laundering. The company hasn't been accused of any wrongdoing. How many times do the banks let people pay a, pay a large amount of cash in without an invoice? How many times do the banks let... Or, or how, mu how much value can you put in the bank 
without them requesting to know where it came from. 200 a day, 100 a day, grand a week, 5 ton a week, is it 10 grand, is it 9 grand, is it 100 grand? How much do you actually have to put in with no proof of where it came from before you actually audit it and they say, yeah, where the fuck that money come from? You're fucking lawn or you've been selling drugs, bro. You've been selling drugs. You've been getting, you've been whiffing it, you've been throwing the whiff out at the weekend, Billy. Hey, been throwing the whiff out, bro. Got a bit of cash in, have we? Hey. Literally, what do the banks do to stop me selling drugs for cash and putting cash in the bank? What 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 anti-money laundering shit set up there? Because no one's ever asked me where my money came from when I'm putting it in the bank. So why do the exchanges have to do something so vigorous? When the banks clearly don't do it. Makes it extremely fucking strange. As Binance.com continues to grow, we remain committed to working collabor collaboratively with regulators around the world. We take our legal obligations very seriously and we continue to invest in our compliance program. The company said that includes building robust systems for catching money laundering and the hiring of former government officials to advise it on regulatory and compliance matters. Binance remains a global venue to beat its daily spot trading volume is more than a hundred times that of Gemini's. According to CoinMarketCap, which is owned by Binance, but generally is considered the leading source of crypto trading data. But even a mid-sized exchange can be worth billions. The Gemini exchange is worth 4.1 billion, according to estimates by the Bloomberg Billionaires Index. Coinbase sports a market value of more than 50 billion, making co-founders Brian Armstrong and Fred Ursher and both billionaires. Kraken's value is around 20 billion based on secondary sales of its private shares. And Mike Novogratz, chief executive office, officer and founder of Galaxy Digital Holdings, which operates an over-the-counter trading desk, has a 3.6 billion stake in that company. With new cryptocurrencies emerging daily, one of the biggest conundrums facing exchanges is deciding which ones to allow users to trade. Listing sometimes require technology upgrades and time to vet whether coins run afoul of laws. It, it's super fucking interested in it. I mean, there's a little bit more left there. And I did skip over a couple of paragraphs. So the link's in the description if you want to go and read it yourself. If you literally want to just Google search Binance and fucking put the news, there's a hell of a lot of information there at the moment. It's all going off. Let's just go and see BNB. Uh, just before we go, why not? Let's go and see BNB. BNB. Coin market cap. Let's go to coin market cap since Binance own them. I mean, it's $308, and it's fucking $600 a week. No, I don't want a software update on the old phone. You'll slow it fucking down. Oh, come on, interactive chat. Don't do this to me, bruh. Don't do this to me, bruh. Uh-uh-uh. Imagine that. No fucking chat. Why is there no chat? Are you taking a piss? He's taking a fucking piss. Either. Nom Nomics is another one to use. I actually like using Nomics a lot. Um, I find coin market caps better for the crypto market cap and shit at the very top. I mean, Nomics has got it at 309, around the same thing. We'll go to the thing, we'll go year to date on the chart. Yeah, I mean, that was at 644 on that chart there. It's at 315 already. Um, so since May, <clears throat> since it's 
since it started getting pretty much attacked, that's what's happened to our. Uh, so you, I mean, this is going to be flipped screen, but you, you should be out of flame and say. $644 at the top there, and it's just gone, woo, attack, 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 attack. And even when Nomix thought it was coming back, it didn't, and we keep getting information like this. Now, is it the beginning of the end? I don't know. The beginning of the end of putting fear on, the beginning of the end of the exchange as a whole, um, the beginning of them just getting regulated and changing how they actually work. Your guess is as good as mine on that front, guys. I honestly don't know and considering it's not my main exchange my main on-ramp is uphold and um i'm gonna stick with uphold until they stop doing it so i really don't need an on-ramp on anyone else i buy xrp on uphold i send xrp to any other exchange i want that's got the actual asset i want to purchase i purchase the asset on that exchange and i send the asset to a cold wallet as soon as fucking possible the only crypto I have on an exchange that's not on a cold wallet is on BitTrue. And when it grows in value again, very, very soon, I'm actually going to move a little bit off. I've got some VeChain on there that's going to go in a VeChain wallet. Um, I'll probably leave the BTR on there. I've got some XRP on there that I'm likely going to move over to the Flare Network. Um but we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens in future. We've got options. We've got options, baby. And that's what crypto's about. It's what being your own bank's about. It's having options for your value. Not that you're never going to use a bank again. It just means that you potentially don't. Well, well, you don't. You don't have to keep all your value in a bank anymore. And all your cash value currencies in a bank anymore. It's like you could have kept gold in your house or you could have kept gold at a safety deposit box you can now keep crypto in your house cold wallet or you keep it on an exchange hot wallet it's entirely up to you who you trust you want to trust Binance trust Binance I'm not going to tell you not to I'll just give you some information and it's up to you to decide what you want to do so on that note I'm going to get my ass to work invest in yourself invest in it net of value live long and oddly it all Get it staked, get it baked. Yeah, feed the beast till the beast feeds you. Wishing health and happiness to you and yours. We love crypto. We hate regulators. We hate the banks. But we love you. So take care of yourself, and I'll see you on the next one.